What's up everybody, my name is Phil. Welcome to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the VX5000. All right, this review is a long time coming. I do have now a VX5000 steamer, all thanks to Tony Ralda from Ralda's Details. Go check out his channel down below. He's got an engineering mind. He can make stuff, he can build stuff, and definitely check out his detailing rigs and setups because they are amazing. Especially the one that he has now, the way that he has everything set up in there with the vacuum hose, the steamer, the pressure washer set up, everything, it is amazing. He even has this awesome remote control that he puts on his wrist and he can shut off the vacuum, the steamer, or the pressure washer right from his wrist. So go check out some of his stuff, it's pretty awesome. Now Tony gave me this VX5000 steamer. Now it's actually a used unit, he bought it used, and he actually has another one, the same unit, so he let me borrow this one, and then he let me keep it. So thank you, Tony, that is super generous of you. He's a super generous guy anyway, and he gave me this steamer because, well, my other one broke and I was just using a little handheld McCulloch one, which was nice, but it lasts like 10 minutes and then you gotta fill it up again. Now this thing is a beast. I know in the detailing community, this is one of the best steamers. It is expensive. It ranges from eight to up to $1,000 on Amazon. And I'll put links below if you have the money and you wanna buy this steamer, then definitely go check it out. But this thing is heavy duty. Now I'm gonna mention some of the features on it and some of the reasons why I like it. So let's take a look at the machine itself. It's, uh, so the machine itself, a pretty big machine. It is a little bulky, but that's okay because it's a heavy piece of equipment. Now you have three buttons here. You have, I believe this is the on itself, on button that powers the unit. Um, and then you have the different options here. So this is basically for the steam. So you turn that on to build up the steam in the machine. And I never use this one, but this one does produce more wet steam so it kind of really pushes out water i don't really use that maybe if you were going to use it on the exterior of the vehicle maybe but i never use this i only just turn on these two it's nice it does have the gauges here it has the lights to indicate that it's warming up that's ready to go and when it's in the green here it is ready to go. Now this thing puts out a lot of steam and it does have these nice buttons here as well again this is used so some of the things are a little bit worn off and this is starting to come apart, but I'll just gently push it back in there and just be gentle with the machine uh, as well. Now this does have other accessories. I only have these two. So if you want to use it just like this, you can. And it'll push out steam. but I like to use it with the little nozzle. But I like to use this nozzle here just because it extends it and it goes to this nice point here and you can get into tighter areas with that. I only have this little attachment, which again, Tony was able to give me. And you can buy separate attachments on their website. The brush attachment is really nice for heavy duty carpet cleaning. You can wrap a towel around here as well and clip it. And then you have that method of dry shampooing or dry steaming carpet. But most of the time, I just use it just like this. It puts out a lot of steam. So you have a couple of options here on the handle itself. So the on, will simply turn it on and it'll push out steam. But now you have these other two buttons, which it looks like this one is a little bit more dry steam and this one's a little bit more wet steam. So you can tell the water drops, you can tell kind of the steam little picture. So that's what I can kind of figure out from the buttons here. And it's true, when you turn it on, it's pretty powerful, but I press the more steam, and it really comes out. Same with this one. It's just a little bit more wet. So this thing is very, very powerful as you can see. Be very careful with the steamer around delicate parts. Don't put it too closely to the gauges or the radio and the dash and all that. You can steam it, but from a distance, just keep keep your distance from it and use your brush to get into all those areas and use the air compressor to dry everything. Just be careful, don't push steam into those delicate areas. Now another feature that is really nice about this steamer is that the hose itself is a very heavy duty hose but it detaches from the machine. In fact, you can even detach it while it's on. Now, the reason that's good is because there's no steam in the hose when it's off. 
when you're not pressing the button, the steam goes all the way back to the machine and it stays in there. It doesn't heat up the hose when not in use. Awesome design, that's brilliant. So you have your little connections here for your button controls here. But it's nice that you can take it out even with the machine on. You don't have to wait for it to cool down. So the reservoir is right here. So this thing can fit up to, I haven't measured it yet. You fill that up, It's a, I put 64 ounces in it at a time, so about a half a gallon of distilled water. So put distilled water in here. And yes, you can put vinegar in here. Vinegar does help with descaling inside the machine. Even though it's distilled water, there may still be some minerals in there because of the heating up process. It just does that to the water, even distilled water. Every once in a while, put a couple of ounces of just pure white vinegar in the machine and run it through. It's fine. You can use it even when cleaning because vinegar is good for your carpets. It actually will neutralize chemicals and uh, bring the pH level to more of an acidic level for the carpets and, and fabric, which is where they want to be pH wise. But guys, this steamer is amazing. Be careful too. This thing is, is beat up, but it is heavy duty steel. Uh, but don't touch the surface here because it, it does get really, really hot. So just be wary of that. But the construction of this thing is incredible. So you have the nice long cord back here, which I usually just kind of keep coiled up and I plug it in like this. It wheels around, so it has nice heavy duty wheels on the bottom. It's just an all around amazing tool to have. An expensive tool, but I gotta say now that I have it, I would definitely spend the money on it. I would save up or charge it because this thing is amazing. I've had all the McCulloch steamers and they're good. They're not as heavy duty for mobile detailers as I would want. So this thing is heavy duty. I've actually even dropped it. It's fallen in my trailer off one of the shelves all the way to the floor and works with no problems at all. As a mobile detailer, man, my tools take a lot of abuse. They, they just do, unfortunately. I try to keep really, really good care of them, but you know, when you're working in a cramped area, it's just difficult and stuff happens with your tools. I'm hoping it will last me years and years and years. And it's nice that I can get separate accessories, separate hose, all that stuff on their website as well. So that's my thoughts on the VX5000 steamer. I know this thing has been reviewed by many other detailers, but I finally have one and I wanted to give you my thoughts on it. And it is amazing. Again, the other McCulloch steamers are really, really good. You just have to really baby them and, and take care of them. For a professional detailer that's detailing pretty much every day and using the steamer every day, it's gonna fall, it's gonna tip over, it's gonna get things broken on it, the hose doesn't detach, you can't get separate parts for it. But there's some cons to it. The steamer itself is amazing, puts out great pressure and all that for the McCulloch steamers, but this thing is just professional level. It's just better built. And of course, it's a different company. It's a little bit more expensive. It's stainless steel. It's not just plastic uh, casing on the outside. It is made for heavy duty cleaning. So guys, that's my review on it. If you have the VX5000, let me know down below in the comments if you like it. What are some of the pros and cons to it? Um, what are some of the attachments that you like, you know, on the steamer itself? Are there other ones that you prefer? Let me know down below in the comments. If this is something that you're looking for, if you're in the market for a professional steamer and you want to splurge a little bit and get something that's heavy duty and really, really nice, this is perfect. I would have to say, in my opinion, this is the best option for mobile detailers. Yes, it is pricey, but splurge. Get this machine. If you need to start out with the McCulloch ones, that's no problem. You'll probably really like them, but over time you will see some of the stuff start to break on it, which does get annoying. If you want something that'll last for years and years and years, on a professional level, then pick up the VX5000 steamer. It is amazing. So thank you guys for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with others who may enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. And if you're interested in any of the merchandise that we have, we have new t-shirts, we have new hoodies, we have mugs, then definitely check out the online store. Click the link down below and buy some stuff and put in code Miranda25. You'll get 25% off of any of the items on there. Now I know that's a pretty deep discount, but I'm doing that because I want you guys to purchase some of that merchandise because the funds that I get from that go into an account for giveaways. I want to do more giveaways on this channel. Now I'd love to be able to build up enough money to buy the VX5000 and give it away to you. What do you think? Maybe I'll start with something smaller. I had my eye on the nice McCulloch 
$200 model, the largest model that they have, and that is a really good steamer. So if you guys want me to do a giveaway for that, let me know down below. The money that you spend on the merchandise, I give back to you and tools and products. So again, thank you for watching. Have a safe week. We'll see you next time. Take care.